Hello and welcome to Tech Deals Mac OS X performance review time. Um, this is the fifth video in my PC to Mac series. What's it like to switch from a PC to a Mac in 2016? This is the performance of OS X on this Mac Mini $700 computer. Links to the previous videos will be in the description below. By all means, go check those out if you have not already seen them. In this video, I'm going to give you a brief demonstration of what to expect if you buy this computer for general um, OS X performance. I'm going to reboot it, I'm going to open programs, and just give you an idea of what that's like. Game performance will come up in separate videos. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do a reboot to give us a completely clean, uh, fresh boot, and we'll time that reboot because there's nothing open at the moment. I'll come up to the Apple button, I will hit restart, and then when I hit restart, I'll start timing it. When we're back to the OS X desktop, and when it's usable to the point to where I can open a web browser and type something into the address bar, I've got a usable computer back. I will put the time up here. I'm not timing this live, but when we get it back in editing, I will look at the time it takes actually when I edit this, and I will post the time up here to see what the reboot time is. I've done this on most of my Windows performance reviews on other computers. So if you use a PC and you've watched my other Windows performance videos, you'll get an idea of what reboot speed is on various computers. I've tested $300 machines. I've tested $1,200 machines, all prices in between, $500, $750, $900. So I've done a lot of different performance testing on different Windows PCs. Here we have a $700 Mac. And now, I do have to log in, and because I've got a password set, because I'm actually logged into my uh, iTunes account here, I will trim this, but this is only going to be a few seconds. Okay, I trimmed a few seconds out of there when I was typing in the password, but when I edit this, I'll account for it in the time. Here's what I want you to note. We don't have our command bar across the top yet. It's still booting. Even though we see the picture, it isn't usable yet. Now, I clicked on Chrome as soon as the dock came up, and you'll see that the Chrome icon, well, if you can see, it's bouncing. So it's trying to load Chrome while it's trying to finish loading the operating system. So we're not there yet. We're waiting. Eventually. Maybe. Well, there's Finder. And we're waiting for Chrome. Now, once you've opened your programs, performance is fine. It's just... What you're seeing here is the limitations of the fact that this machine has a hard drive. If you watched my, my, some of my previous videos, I talked about my complaint of the hard drive versus an SSD in this machine. At $700, it should have an SSD. I'm happy to recommend it as soon as they put an SSD in for that price. And we're slowly getting there, but not quite yet. Hang on, let me click. And I type, and we have the spinning rainbow color wheel. And close enough, time. So whatever that time was to reboot will be posted up here. Let me give you my impressions. That strikes me as slow compared to most of the other machines that I have tested. That being said, it is a fair point. How often do you reboot a computer? Probably not that often. So, okay, it's a data point, but maybe that's not important to you. If you're the kind of person who leaves your machine on, just puts it to sleep, maybe it's not a big deal. Let's do... And I always forget that. Okay, maximize. Let's go to YouTube. We'll go to my channel. Let's see how well it plays videos. Because I've done this on my other ones. I do, by the way, have a custom URL at YouTube now. I'm very excited about that. YouTube.com slash C slash tech deals. And hit videos. Let's see how well, because this is a dual core i5 chip, let's see how well it does six videos. One, well, I right clicked. One, two, three, four, five, six. Those open nice and big. They are HD. You, depending on what you're watching this on, you may not be able to see it, but the HD icon is down here, and these are all running at 720p, which is basically half HD, and it plays them just fine. So here are, well, a little bit laggy. Now, 
the, the, there's no issues with internet connection here. Just to be clear, we are running, I'm connected to wired gigabit ethernet on my network here. So waiting for this is not my network. Um, I am located in North Texas on fiber optic, 150 megabit up and down. I am three hops from the main trunk line going out to California, so I have no internet issues here, thankfully. I'm very lucky in that regard. So anytime you watch all my performance videos, nothing is ever internet affected, unless of course it's actually on the internet, but my connection here is not an issue. Um, of course, that also means download speeds aren't necessarily the computer, they're the internet connection. But I will tell you, this, this works fine. It's laggy. That took way longer to come up than I would have liked to have seen. I've done six videos before on other i5 laptop processors. This is really basically a laptop in here. Um, on 500, and uh, I did an Acer Aspire E15, which is a $550 laptop. And it has almost exactly the same CPU as this, although it's newer. It's got a 6th gen chip. This has a 4th gen. 2 core, 4 threads, i5 from Intel, just like this, 2 core, 4 threads. And I was able to open the four videos, and it was a little bit cleaner. Um, now, part of what helped on that machine is that laptop has a solid state drive, which again is why there's no excuse that this doesn't have one, because that laptop is 550 and it includes a screen and everything and an SSD. Anyway, okay, we won't go into that. This plays videos fine once it opens. Okay, so let's close that for a minute. And I'll go ahead and quit Chrome completely. Pages, Numbers, and Keynote. These are the three programs that come with OS X that allow you to do word processing, spreadsheets, and presentations without having to buy or download a separate Office suite. I mentioned in my pros video, my plus is what I liked. The third video I did, how much I liked this. OS X, I like. Maybe this specific machine, not as much, but I like the fact that, and this is responsive, this works fine. I mean, it isn't instant like I prefer, but you know, I'm spoiled with really good hardware, so I'll, I'll, I'll grant that one. So I just opened um, Pages, Numbers, and Keynote, which is their word processor spreadsheet and presentation program. And I'll double click this to edit. Tech deals. It thinks about it. If I double click this, Tech deals likes OS X. Oh, OS, eh, are you gonna go back? Oh, that doesn't work, that's right. Ugh. If you move from a PC to a Mac, you'll have to realize that a lot of the keyboard shortcuts you're used to are different. I would have memorized all of these if I was really switching to a Mac, which I'm not, but anyway. So let's close these. Quit, delete, quit, delete. Nope, hang on, quit. Oh, I didn't type anything in, okay, quit. So that opened those programs relatively well. I don't have any real complaint with that. Now let's try something different. Let's open up Adobe Photoshop. Now if you may not use this program, but I am a, an Adobe Creative Suite customer because I use Photoshop and um, Premiere Pro for my YouTube channel for editing videos and making my thumbnails. That was very respectable. I actually have no complaints over the load speed there. I, it could be two, three seconds faster, but we're on a fresh reboot and that was frankly fine. If we go click on Premiere Pro, this takes slightly longer. Photoshop opened really quick. And having said that, now this isn't going to open quick. Go figure. It's bouncing at me and taunting. If you look down here, you'll see the uh, Premiere Pro icon. What's taking it so long? Is it? Yeah, okay, it's going. I'm feeling to see if the hard drive's accessing, if it's, if it's moving. That's very slow. What I don't like is how unpredictable the performance is sometimes. Sometimes things are quick and sometimes they are not. And the color wheel is spinning, now it's not. There we go. Okay, that's atrocious. 
on my main video editing machine at home, which granted is more expensive than this and has much better hardware, when I open Adobe Premiere Pro on Windows 10, if it takes two seconds, I'd be surprised. I should time it next time I go home and, and try that. Um, if it takes more than about two seconds to open, I'll be shocked. On a solid state drive, of course. Lordy, lordy, lordy. Let me close Photoshop. And it still hasn't opened it. I don't remember taking it that long when I played with it. It's been about a week since I played with this. Um, I took one of the videos from my camera. I shoot in 4K. Uh, I shoot on SD cards. This has an SD card reader. I tried, I played around with it. This does not have the performance to edit the videos that my Sony 4K camera films. Will it edit 4K iPhone pictures, uh, iPhone video? I don't know because I own an iPhone 6 Plus, not a 6S Plus. My uh, iPhone 6 only has a 1080p camera on it. So I, the newest iPhone shoots in 4K. So I don't know what format that shoots in. Maybe it edits fine, but this machine did not like the 4K video, which is recorded at 100 megabits per second on a professional SD card um, or a semi-pro SD card. Let's see how Adobe Acrobat does. Why do I record at 100 megabits? Why not? Best quality video. I know YouTube compresses it and scales it down. That was fast. No complaints there. Adobe Acrobat opened wicked fast. Let's try, I'll go to Launchpad. I do have Microsoft Office. If you are a Microsoft Office customer, if you have, for example, Office 365 and you switch from a PC to a Mac, no worries, you can download the Mac version of Office. No extra charge, it's included in your 365 subscription. Let's click on Microsoft Word and see how long that takes to open up. I would play the Jeopardy theme in the background here, but that's licensed and they would want money, so I won't. I would hum it, but I don't hum or sing very well. If you look down here, you will see that the icon is bouncing. There we go. That wasn't too bad. Blank document. Too bad is a relative term. Anything over a second from me is slow. I'm impatient, what can I say? This is a test. Check deals. If I highlight it and click the Make Bigger Text button, this works just like the Windows version does. Um, if you are a heavy Office user, I, nothing I use in Office is any different here. This basically looks and feels and works the same way that the Windows version does. So no complaints in that regard. Let me close that and don't save. Um, in terms of playing, oh, I know what we'll do. We're going to go back into Chrome. I did this before I, I started filming. If you watch my Windows performance videos, you will know that I like to go to Yahoo's website because Yahoo's website is rough and brutal. It's a poorly designed site from a technical perspective. The code running in the site is very slow and it brings machines to their knees. Now I have done this on some nice desktops and laptops where I'm able to open 10 Yahoo tabs and the performance is great. How do we do on this one? Well, I'm gonna click on sports and let's open up. Now, I don't have anything else running. I closed Word. I am not playing YouTube videos. I don't have a bunch of Amazon pages. If you watched my previous videos, you'll note I usually leave multiple web browsers open. I've got 15 browser window tabs open on other things before I start doing this. I'm giving this machine every opportunity to shine. So I'm giving it a little bit of a, um, what do you call it? Um, speaking of golf, uh, handicap. I'm giving it a bit of a handicap. So let's scroll through. Well, that's NASCAR. That might be as big as it is. Fantasy. It hasn't loaded the page yet. What happens if I come over here? <sighs> yeah. 
it works. Now, are you really going to open that many Yahoo tabs? Probably not. Do I consider this to be great? No. I would compare the performance of web browsing in general to be similar to a three to $400 Windows PC. Um, I can easily find you a $700 Windows PC that will do this much better. And of course, that comes back to the complaint video I had, which is it's too much money for the performance. And this isn't a, well, they're just different computers. It's Google Chrome browsing Yahoo. What's different? It's just as we're on the internet. Um, the performance of web browsing and pulling things up is very basic. How about I put it that way? It's catching about every other scroll when I'm, I'm coming down with the mouse. It's okay. I'm not thrilled about it. Now, in fairness, yes, I have opened up a bunch of tabs. But I do this on all the Windows performance videos I've done. And I've shown you other machines that will play 12 HD YouTube videos, will have 10 Amazon tabs open, and have 15 Yahoo tabs open, and they still perform wonderfully. So it is possible, just not on basic entry-level hardware. So it is what it is. We'll close all of those. Um, let me just close this video by saying that if you are a basic computer user who does not want to do a lot of things at the same time, and you don't have 10 programs open at once, and you tend to open your programs and you leave them there, it's fine. It works. Can you run Office? Can you run Adobe? Can you, can you browse the web? Can you watch videos? Yes. Can you watch Netflix? Can you check your Twitter? Can you check your Facebook? Yes. If we completely put aside what the machine costs, it's absolutely fine for an entry-level experience. I have no issues with it for a basic computer. So that's Windows performance. Game performance videos are coming up next. I hope you liked this video and it was informative and useful and gave you some idea as to what to expect performance-wise from a $700 Mac Mini. Like this video if you like it. Don't if you don't. Remember to subscribe to my channel. It's the big red button right down there. If it's not red because you've already subscribed, thank you. And if it is red, please click it now because that's how you'll get updates to future upcoming videos, PCs, and the game reviews of this, and all kinds of fun stuff. Questions, comments, thoughts, feedback, suggestions, put those in the comment section below the video. Let me know what you think. And as always, if you want to support my channel, if you like the videos I make, then the best thing you can do is to use all the various links in the video description below to support me. I will be eternally grateful. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.